Last time, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara solved some really tough puzzles. I swear, those puzzles were so hard. Masterclass, even. I don't even know how I managed to do that water bucket puzzle in less than 15 minutes. Truly, that was artistry at work. Also, there was a really long hidden temple in which spooky noises occurred, shadowy movement happened, and that all led to nothing. It was an extended sequence of jumping and climbing with some very pretty set pieces, along with an interesting side story involving an explorer lost in the jungle. Otherwise, there wasn't really that much going on there. Though the mysterious outsider moving uh, about the jungle as I made my way through the challenge tomb, I, I imagine that's going to lead to something. Rise of the Tomb Raider had its own collection of natives who were po already populating the uh, this uh, area of nowhere that you were exploring. Is uh, this going to have its own set of natives that uh, know what's really going on versus just the random the people who happen to live in that nearby town? In the meantime, we've got an apocalypse to stop. So let's get to it. Alright. Now let's finally proceed onward. Which... Oh, it's back there. I don't know why, uh... I figured Jonah was going towards where I was supposed to go. Does that mean that we're off track? Mm, it could mean something happened hundreds of years ago that we don't know about yet. <laughs> Maybe some mines got lost in the jungle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That frog gave me nothing. See, I guess in regards to finding objects on the ground, there are two uh, ways you can do it. <laughs> Take that, bunny. Uh, you could make everything stand out with weird sparkles or lines, similar to, say, uh, the Deus Ex games. Or you can have yourself do a kind of like Arkham Knight style thing in which you ping the environment. And everything highlights. My problem with the whole, like, if you have all, uh, everything highlighted always that you can interact with, then it kind of gives this almost uh, fake view of the world. Whereas if you have to ping the environment, then you're constantly pinging to see what you can actually interact with. And let's make some more. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, animal carcass number one. Clearly, there's some sort of strange creature going about killing these this specific kind of animal, whatever it is, in a very specific fashion. That mystery will never be solved. You are correct. Jonah, help me with this. Oh, there's a gate. Two, one. A gate of sorts. Ah, okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, Um, so, okay, so that's, I got mauled by a tiger. And I'm okay. I was wondering if this was suddenly going to turn into the Revenant, but I guess I'm incorrect. Oh, 
Okay, this game definitely puts it itself at odds with the... Oh, you know she's injured because she's holding herself. Can I chop this body up, use him for parts? What about these monkeys I killed? Nope, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right with you. Lara, are you okay? Are you okay? Help me with this. Yeah, I was just mauled by a jaguar. Hmm. I wonder if I didn't have a, a special outfit on. Like, it would actually show the injury. But at the same time, I don't remember if I was able to switch to, the, like, a default outfit. I'll have to check. That's the problem with using costumes, is it kind of gets in the way of the story. Let me take a look at that. Not pretty. <sighs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, <clears throat> from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, the right time, he would still be here. Yeah, you could say that about really everything. Eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. Although I suppose that's like the the issue with games in general is that there's plot wounds and then there's gameplay wounds. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> Dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of Isha to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. <laughs> Power to create and destroy. Would you be able to do that? Uh, it's been kind of unclear what that power actually does. I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's it's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. Once again, you could say that about anything. Everything you love in the present tense is existing in presently. 
The thing that I loved before, it's, it's not here. Because it's not around. treasure the adventurer lara croft must outwit the king reach the forbidden tomb and solve the mystery of the white queen the way be fraught with trials ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, your maths any longer in a minute dad i'm busy adventuring the high walls of the castle beckon taunton Oh, do I need my sword? Can I pick up any of these swords? I cannot pick up these swords. They are not meant for adventures. Also, it appears that at some point in time she realized that adventurers do not adventure in skirts. Okay. Am I trying to hit that treasure? Nope. What is a crow's? Is that all the way up there, or...? Ah. Ah! Ah! Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Ugh. Oh, there's a slide over there? Ah. Uh. Oh, wait. There's one down there. Oh, it's in here. The White Queen. Locked away, but not forgotten. What was I doing at this apparent age? Adventuring? Exploring outside? Riding the bike? Trying to play Nintendo games, but my Nintendo kept crapping out on me? I think that was about it. I, I, <clears throat> I was mostly indoors. I think this is from when we walked the El Mensha. I don't remember much, except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mom looks so happy. So does Dad. Hmm. Oh, there's... Nothing in the back? It's not fair. Why did she have to... The floor we... Lara tumbles into the darkness. And there's another one for some... Yeah, there's several of them. Take that, birds. Fresh graves. The king does not take <laughs> Oh, it's in... Uh, this is garden gloves. What was it, Dad said? Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. I mean, like, she could do her math homework if she wanted. But how is math homework going to protect her against the king's tyranny? Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. These bloodthirsty rabbits. Sir, I understand 
that these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realize it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. I really don't understand. Our hero must be quiet really to avoid alerting the king. Hmm? Uh. Atlas? What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Didn't he hear, hear her voice coming in from outside? The King's Guard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. In this imaginary scenario, is the King's Guard the dad? And does that mean that the Queen is the mom who is imprisoned the by death? It makes it kind of sad, though, the idea that uh, she has this imaginary scenario in which uh, in which her mother could, in theory, be saved from death. Get out of the way, bird. Go do your bird things. Go, on. Go to hang out with your bird girlfriends at bird prom. There are a lot of leaves in this scutter. Because fear is the mind killer. What is this for? This power source. Uh Alas, Lara's been ruining places that she climbs around since she was a child. I mean, that's how she's able to become a tomb raider cuz she, she, cuz she's been working on that upper body strength. Not to mention uh, early practice in narrating her own life. She can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Huh. What is that? Is can I climb this? There we go. I mean, is it really the summit if, like, the roof in front of you is higher? And what about the clock tower? Like, that's higher than that. Also, at this age, I had a pretty big fear of heights. Since then... Not so much. I do not know. It's because you can't deal with the grief of having lost your mother? Okay, you, you definitely cut your hands on that. Croft is lucky she has not horribly injured herself. And 
especially considering all she had to do was walk through the door that was open. At last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. The, the Forbidden Tomb isn't quite forbidden if the door is open. I'm guessing there's a chess-related puzzle. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the White Queen is lonely. Hmm. Mm. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake. And he drank the wine unharmed. Wait. The cup of Saint John. The apostle had been given a chalice. He was given a chalice of poison wine. Blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. What about the snake? Might have something to do with the glow. Uh, what were the coordinates? Uh. Thirty north, ninety east. So that's third and north. And ninety east. Egyptian and evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. An evil eye box? I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The Sun King, Louis the Fourteenth, married Maria Theresa, ending a long standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen. Maria Theresa died a painful death, to which the king said, This is the first trouble she has given me. King sounds like he was a bit of an asshole. Mid-14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. Is it really necessary to call the mezzanine forbidden, especially since it is within the forbidden crypt? I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. <coughs> the delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. you Now that might relate to the uh, one of the Rise of the Tomb Raider DLC things in which you're exploring. Uh... I wonder if it lost its mother too. Exploring the house and finding your the hidden tomb within. A Yatiri, a South American healer. Okay. No matter where you stand. Masks seem to stare at you. Is there a reason why we are holding on to people's bones? I mean, I guess it's not really hoarding if it's on display. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. I 
haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. So that's an ossuary. But that's an evil eye box. I guess those two are different. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. They found death. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm. hmm. A Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. And it looks the like we've got two more things to look at. Found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. Great bat swings unfurl. Alright. Alright, if I had to guess, I have to move the knights or the people with the red shields over there. So doesn't seem like it's that difficult. I just kind of have to move other statues out of the way. The knight's shield reflects a light beam. Unfortunately, that sounds like it means I'm going to have to spend a lot of time moving these statues around. Let's see. Then I got that one. And then I think I just need to move two more, and then I should be golden. I'm guessing this uh, puzzle is not meant to be hard as much as there. But then I guess the previous puzzle that I got uh, so hung up on wasn't necessarily meant to be hard. I just wasn't paying attention. There she is. The White Queen. Trapped. I have to help her. Hmm. Is there one that is different from the others? Because it seems like I should move, like, like a pawn to that spot. So it's not that one. Uh, I was overthinking it. Like, I figure you gotta, like, move a piece over there because of the crown on the map, but all I had to do is just retract the ladder. With light, unlock her love's release. Oh, hold on. Cross the unknown threshold. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. Still narrating her life. Her mom's things. Oh yeah, her mom was a painter. I forgot about that. The path was dark. And is guarded.
liked the queen, I regarded him with a peculiar smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. <laughs> it's convenient that that door just happened to be opening by itself for no reason. She seems to really like that top. Okay. Even in my dreams, I have to solve puzzles. So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ugh, whatever it is, we'll handle it. Hey, it can't be worse than yesterday, right? All right. Vest of the Empress Jaguar. It tried to kill me, now it's clothes. A really terrible set of clothes. Ugh. Fashion designer Lara Croft ain't. Thank you for watching. If you've still got the itch for more content, why not give one of those links a try? Got some questions or comments? You can comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. In the meantime, so long, folks.